Hey folks, welcome back to another Model Railroad signal update. As you can tell, I'm not at my Model Railroad. I accepted a job that was out of state, so I had to move, and I am officially done moving, but I want to do a update video before, um, I guess I got too involved or it got too far out of my hands. Anyway, here it is. Um, main things I want to talk about are the intermediate signals for the tunnel, which are in the middle and the South Corbett signals, which are on the far right. I've also added in a library for controlling the speed of the servos. In real life, dispatcher controlled signals typically turn real slow instead of how they turn on Arduino servos, which are typically pretty rapid. So I added a library in there to control the speed of the servo. Um, also got these two circuits completed. So before we get started on these, I'm going to show a few pictures of what I've accomplished on the Model Railroad so far. Okay, so here I have South Corbett up and running. And I'm not going to run through every single indication simply because there is a lot of them. Um, so here is the track diagram for it, and where I have labeled SR1, SR2, SR3, and so forth, that's the number of shift registers. So this one's SR1 right here, and they increase going down. I might have covered this in a previous video but in case I didn't I've covered it now so I'm going to run up one indication so you guys can see what I've done so far so basically what I'm going to do is do a diverging restricting signal on this signal and I'm going to send a train from the yard to the siding to the main into the plant the oil refinery to be precise now I'm going to set all of these toggle switches into the high position. Okay, that one's, yeah. And I'm gonna go back here and press this button. And you can see the servos turn kind of slow up here, and now it's showing a diverging restricting signal back there. So, now the train rolls over the signal and we're back to a stop and it's going to time out in about 30 seconds so over that 30 second time period it's just going to wait for the train to sort of get off the signal and then it's going to revert everything to the main again there may or may not be a few kinks in this but um, I'll handle those as we go. Um, I think this is mainly designed for a light engine, but like I said, okay, so the switches are resetting themselves. So I can do another, um, I can do another indication if I want. So basically we can say that, okay, the light engine's gone from the yard, the siding, to the main, into the plant, and we've got a train here that's getting ready to go. So what we can do is I can set all these turnouts into the low position. Press the button and this should give a clear. Yep. Well, uh, that's, is that what I want? Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, had to make sure. It's been a while since I've fooled with this. So anyway, we have a clear signal for a train right here to proceed south out of Corvette. So um, the train's gonna run over, over the signal and the signal goes to a stop. And again, it's gonna be another 30 seconds or so before the signal actually resets itself. So that's kind of an overview of what I've done with South Corbett. Now let's move on to the intermediate signals around where the tunnels are at. Another thing that I did was I got the 
two intermediate signals that are going to be on each side of the tunnel working. Um, if you notice these little T looking objects right here, those are indicating which way the signals are facing. So it's going to be a bidirectional signal and there's going to be three aspects on each side. So one shift register for each signal wor works just fine in this situation. So I'm going to run through two indications. One is going to be for a northbound train going from Petersville to Corvette. So the way I have this set up is that the train's first going to knock down the south tunnel signal, like so. And then it's going to knock down the north tunnel signal. And once it knocks down the t north tunnel signal, it's going to reset the Arduino. And I can run through another function if I need to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this switch and it's going to be a it's going to be for a yard job that is going north out of Petersville but not going to Corbett. It's just simply going to pull up past the signal and shove back in. Um, so I lost my train of thought. Anyway let me see. Yeah, so that's how that works. And it's only one signal right here. So it's fairly straightforward. I knock it down. It resets itself. And uh, something I plan to do at a later date is add a feature in where in the event that the yard job doesn't knock down the signal, it, the, it being the signal, times out after a certain period of time. But that's going to be something else I'll work on. Um, that'll be for another video, and hopefully I'll have gotten a lot more done over that time period. Since I'm not at my model railroad, I'm probably going to be focusing on coding and CAD software for these signals. But um, I hope you had a good Christmas, New Year, or whatever you celebrate. Happy holiday season. Um, I guess. Uh, hope it was good for you. Uh, hope you have a happy, healthy, safe, and productive 2022. Um, thanks for watching, and take care. See you in the next one.